Now we're going to talk about nitric oxide and it's produced from arginine in a reaction which is catalyzed by an enzyme called nitric nitric oxide synthase not nitric so that's a mistake nitric oxide synthase so here is what nitric oxide looks like this 115 pm is the length between the two bonds it's not really important but i just kept it in so it's produced by this arginine and it's catalyzed by nitric oxide synthase we have three types of this enzyme nitric oxide synthase number one number two and number three you'll find number one mostly in the nervous system number two in the immune cells number three in the endothelial cells so this is what we want to focus on here nos3 so it's activated by substances which cause an increase in the intracellular calcium ions so the amount of calcium inside the cell things like acetylcholine and bradykinin which are neurotransmitters um, so those increase the intracellular calcium ions and therefore they activate nitric oxide synthase 3. So nitric oxide itself is what causes vasodilation and it's formed in the endothelial cells. And once they're in the endothelial cells, they diffuse out into the smooth muscle. I don't know if you can see it. Here is the smooth muscle. So they'll diffuse out of the endothelial cells into the smooth muscle here and it causes the activation of guanylyl cyclase and then that produces cyclic guanosine monophosphate or CGMP, cyclic GMP. And it's cyclic GMP which causes the relaxation of vascular smooth muscle. We therefore have vasodilation and this can alter the direction of blood flow either to the extremities or to other regions of the body. So nitric oxide is a major local regulator of blood flow and in fact there was an experiment which was done where different forms of arginine which actually inhibited nitric oxide synthase were infused into the blood and what was found was blood pressure actually increased so it suggested that nitric oxide synthase is a chronic regulator of blood pressure. So that's one way nitric oxide just to summarize affects the blood flow.